How powerful do you really think you are? You have the power of projection, you know. We're going to talk about that right now on the tune-up. Hi, this is Dr. Gary, and welcome to the tune-up today. Many of us blip through life thinking we have no effect on other people. In fact, we think we have no effect on the outcome that happens in our own life. The absolute opposite is true, though. We have everything to do with the way people respond to us, the things that happen to us. And a lot of times we become victimized by thinking that many of the things that happen to us are just fate. And some of them are, I'll give it that. But most of them are brought on by us, by the way we think about things. Over the last almost 12 years now, you've heard me talk about we become what we think about the most. Also, we become who we hang out with the most. Humans are interesting things because we kind of take on the energy of other people, meaning we take on their behaviors, we take on their thoughts, we take on their beliefs, we take on their attitudes, we take on their language. When we're living our life, many of us are so affected by other people, we want to be like them. We think our own life is worth throwing away because somebody else's life is better than our own. With the COVID incident that happened a couple of years ago, people isolated all around the world, wearing masks, staying in their homes, not being affected by other people and not really having the interaction of other people. There's been a lot of neurosis, self-induced psychosis, we could say, brought on by those kinds of actions. And the outcome of that now is people get out and start moving around is we've changed. Many people have changed to where they're not very friendly. They're kind of angry and pissed off. They're really looking at other people to be the problem in their life, rather than looking at their own way of thinking and their own way of behaviors. If you want to be happy, and most everybody does, it's rare I've run across somebody who I told them, how do you want to be? And they say, I really want to be unhappy. Usually doesn't happen. Most of us want to be loved, respected, and we just want to be happy. Just give us our life, let us live it, and leave us alone. But now the problem is, we've been alone for so long, we kind of forgot how to interact with other people. And we also forgot how affected we can be by the thoughts of other people. We've kind of taken on some of their energy, some of their attitudes, some of their beliefs. Right now, it's probably more important than ever before for you to take on your own attitude and your own beliefs. And that means you got to get out there, start living again, and start thinking about what you're doing. So many people just blip through life blindly, like a pinball machine's ball, just bouncing from one place to another without thinking about what they're saying, thinking about what they're doing, and what's going to be the future of the behaviors they're putting out right now. We live life in the present moment, not the past or the future. We have to be present in this moment right now. We project our energy onto other people, and then it gets reflected right back to us. If you're irritated and upset about things that have been going in your life or the world's life, let's say, there's really only one thing you can do about it. That is control your attitude and the way you project to other people. And the proper way to project to other people is love and kindness, not anger and frustration, because that's not going to help anything. It's time for all of us to pull together and realize we are humanity, and it's time for us to act like it. So today, what I want you to do, and I'm talking about you, and not thinking this is going out to everybody else, it must not be about you. No, it's about you. Think about what you say. Think about what you do. Think about the way you walk down the street because somebody's always watching you. And also think about, by the way I acted today, what is the outcome going to be from that from other people? How are other people going to respond to me? So many people are irritated because other people don't respond to them the way they want to be responded to. And usually it starts with you responding to them in a negative way. Now, I'm not saying we're all doing that, but I've seen some of you doing it. And it's time to wake up and knock it off. If you're one of those people that are angry and holding a lot of resentment and contempt inside for the human race, for what it's done to you, quit being a victim, get over it, get over yourself, 
and let's get rolling and have life and enjoy life together. Let's put a smile on our face and act like we like who we are so other people will like who we are too. You realize that other people treat you pretty much the way you treat yourself. If you treat yourself with disrespect, you're going to get treated with disrespect. Wake up. Let's get this show going. Let's bring back our country. Let's bring back the world to being a pleasant place to live. And it starts with you. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary. Thanking all of you for chiming in. I love your comments, your ideas, the things you have to say. And also thank you for supporting me over all these years. I really, really appreciate it. Until next time. Bye-bye.